All right. So you clicked on this video because either you got some neighbors you don't like or your family is expanding, your household is expanding, or it's time to move up or move down in your Guthrie, Oklahoma home. And that's what this video is going to be about. The eight steps in selling your Guthrie, Oklahoma home. Now, let's get into it. All right, before we get started, my name is Josh Barnett, EXP Realty. If it's the first time to your channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos about how to sell your home. Now, I make these videos for the customers that my team and I are able to help sell their homes in Guthrie, Oklahoma. So if you're looking to sell your home because of a crazy neighbor, your family or household is expanding, or you're ready to get the bigger house or the smaller house, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, so the team of agents that I work with, the EXP Realty and I, can help you get your home sold. Now, let's go over the eight steps on how to sell your Oklahoma, <clears throat> on how to sell your Guthrie, Oklahoma home, and it also works for land too. All right, you can see here this great little diagram that EXP Realty has put together for my team and I to present to you, the homeowner or the landowner, on how to sell your home. The first step, of course, is you've got to give me a call, you got to send me a text, you got to send me an email, so, my so the team of agents that I work with and I can get to work on valuing your home. If you want a quick valuation report, though, go over to uh, Josh Barnett. You can go over to joshbarnett.exprealty.com, joshbarnett.exprealty.com. It's going to take you to this page right here. And then you go over here in the top right corner, and you see this little button, this little tab that says sell, S-E-L-L, -L, sell. Just click on that tab, and it's going to take you over to what's your home worth page. What's your home worth page? And sometimes it works for land, too, if you have a physical address. But what this does is it gives you a broad view, broad view, not a, not a uh, micro view, a broad view of what your home will be worth and what range it will be worth in your neighborhood, in your school district, et cetera, et cetera. So this report... Is just a one one indication of value when you call me, when you send me a text, send me an email, or when you complete this form even, I'll reach out to you. We'll go over the five qualifying questions when you're getting ready to list your home, and I'll have that video at the end of this video at the end screen so you'll be able to see what those five questions are. And we'll go over those five questions together so we could get an accurate range on your home as, as accurate as possible before we do the site visit on your home. So the first step, call, text, or email me, or complete the What Is My Home's Worth page at joshbarnett.exprealty.com slash sell. That's step number one. Step number two is establish a price. So what I what we need to do to establish a price is I need to come do a site visit, or one of my team members need to come do a site visit. We need to sit down. We need to walk through the house. Then we need to sit down at the dining room table and go over the comparables and go over what all you've done to the home that we haven't already discussed. Once we nail down that price by looking at the comparables and doing the site visit, then we'll be able to start the next steps, which step number three is preparing your home for sale. And that's things like declutter, deep clean, declutter, deep clean. Yes, yes, you want to declutter, deep clean, declutter, and deep clean twice. You definitely want to do that. And then we'll have the professional camera crew come in We'll shoot professional photos on the house. If you have some acreage or you have some cool features in front or behind the house, like if it's waterfront property or if it backs up to a field where there's cattle or livestock, you know, those are cool things, especially in Guthrie, Oklahoma, the first capital. Um, those are cool things that people look for when buying a home, which will be an advantage to you as a home seller when selling your Guthrie, Oklahoma home or land. So we'll also do the 360 walkthrough. We'll do the professional uh, video tour of the home. Those are two different things. One's a lifestyle one. One's a straight walkthrough. The 360 is a straight walkthrough style video. The lifestyle one centers around Guthrie, centers about why to move to Guthrie. And of course, your house is the main feature at the end of the video. So we'll do those two videos, which absolutely help when it comes to marketing your property. And yes, we use professional real estate photographers we don't use our iPhones or 
or our uh, our own cameras or anything like that. We use professional real estate photographers whose job it is daily to take professional real estate pictures because everyone sees homes or land online first before actually seeing the home in person. So you've got to have that first impression put together. It's true. Um, a home's first impression is just like a person's first impression. It matters. So any questions on steps one, two, or three, put them down in the comments below. If you're ready to make that call or send me a text or send me an email about getting started on selling your Guthrie Oklahoma home so that my team of agents that I work with that I can get to work on that, feel free to go ahead and do that. Or like I said before, go to joshbarnett.exprealty.com backslash sell, S-E-L-L, -L, and just put your address in the bar right there, and that'll also start the process. Step number four, once we have all that put together, is we're going to bring the house live. So declutter, clean, declutter, clean might take you two, three days. Um, getting the photo shot is, is, a, is about a one to two hour time period. And then we usually get the photos back within 24 to 48 hours for the photographer. And doing the video walkthroughs, the 360 walkthroughs, usually a five minute video. We don't really want to go too longer than five, maybe six minutes, depending on how large your home is. And if you have features like a shop, a pond, or anything like that, we do have to take the time to walk down there, down there so we highlight those features. And it's a 360 tour, so that potential buyers of your home, they're able to pause the video anytime, spin the camera around, and look at anything around them. It's a super, super great way to market your property. And then, of course, the lifestyle video, the 360 video, the lifestyle video, those both take time to edit. So from, from when your home is decluttered and clean, decluttered and clean twice, to bringing it on the market is anywhere between a four to seven day process, four to seven day process, just depending on when you finish the declutter and clean. Because in today's market, we wanna bring your home live, usually on Thursdays, and you wanna take a weekend vacation so that we can get all the showings through the door, because there's gonna be a ton of showings when you first go live on your home in today's market. All right, that was step number four, listed for sale. Any questions, put them down in the comments below. Any general questions, put them in the comments down below, and I'll get those answered. So step number five, we've got your home listed, and we've just had you know, 10, 12, 15 different showings because we priced it right, and we marketed it correctly. Now we've had all those showings. And you, you were at like the Hard Rock Cafe, or you took the uh, train down to Fort Worth. You know, you took the passenger train down to Fort Worth and stayed there for the weekend. Um, and now you're back. It's Monday. So during that time, I've been, my team and I, we've been sending you offers as they come across and adding them to an offer summary spreadsheet. So you can see every single thing line by line by line. And you see your net, which is the most important, your walkaway money on the home at every single time we get an offer. Now, if we're on another appointment or we're booked out with other sellers, helping them get their houses listed and sold, what we do is we still send you the offer as soon as we receive it. And we just say, hey, this offer just came in, we're on an appointment, as soon as the appointment's over, we'll get it summarized to you this evening and get it added to the spreadsheet. That way you get it right away and you have it right away, but we, but we may be on an appointment, we don't want any delays in getting that offer to you. So once we have all those offers put together and in a nice neat Excel spreadsheet, you're able to look at, okay, what's the close date that works for me? What are they asking? Are they asking for any concessions? Do they want to keep my four wheeler or my zero turn? You know, buyers ask for crazy things. They don't always understand that a basic zero turn is $3,200, you know, or, um, or or if they want to keep a couch, heck, it might be a couch you don't want anymore. Leave it. It's more expensive sometimes to move furniture than it is to buy new furniture. It, it is. So if they're wanting some old furniture that you're not really wanting to take to the new place, who cares? Let, let them have it, right? Right? Um, are they? What type of loan are they using? Are they using a USDA loan? Are they using a VA loan? Are they using an FHA loan? Are they using a conventional loan? Is it a cash deal? Are they allowing me do, uh, to do a longer closing to help me find my next house? Or are they wanting to move in in just two weeks and I've already found the house and I'd rather take the quick closing over the longer closing, even though the longer closing may offer me, you know, five or $7,500 more dollars, a quick closing Maybe more beneficial for me. But we talk about every single one of those options and we look at which offer is the best. And if none of them are meeting exactly what you want, then we counter them. We counter the offer that is as close as possible 
to your best deal. We say, hey, we love everything about your offer except for this. Are you open to changing this? And we just send it over to them in writing. They look at it, and if it works for them, great. And this could be anything like, hey, I love your offer, but I need another $1,000. Or, hey, I love your offer, but no way am I leaving you my grandfather clock. I've had that grand that grandfather clock came over, you know, with my family when America was founded back in the 1800s, I think. I'm not a great history buff, so I don't exactly know what that answer is. Back when, yes, that time, uh, you know, we, we counter it. And then once we meet an agreement with one of the potential buyers on the home, then the house is set to pending. We take it from active on the market to pending on the market, and we begin working on getting that buyer and that contract to closing. So we stop the showings. You don't have to worry about leaving the house anymore. You can use your oven again if you want. Um, don't use it too much because you still got some more inspections and stuff like that coming up. But we do the offer negotiations. And then step number six is we go under contract. Like I just said, we stop showings and we start working on things like the home inspections. We start working on things like the surveyor coming and making sure that the house is actually where it says it is on the contract. We start working on things like the termite inspection. We start working on things on if you got a well and septic, the well and septic inspection. Usually the home, the termite, the well and septic, all those inspections are at the same time, usually. So you don't have to worry about being out of your house three different times for that. But the MIC, that's a surveyor who just shows up. And usually he shows up from the title company. So no, not the buyer's agent or the seller's agent, neither of them know he's supposed to be there. So, so don't, uh, don't run off a surveyor if they're supposed to be there. We always ask, as your listing agent, my team and I, we always ask for the title company to tell us when the surveyor is going to be there or at least give us the surveyor's contact info so that we can coordinate that showing with you as a seller to the best of our ability, but sometimes they do just show up. And you don't want to shoo them off. You want them there to be able to complete the survey. Also, the uh, buyer, if they're using a loan, their appraiser is going to need to come by, and you will definitely know when the appraiser is going to be there. No question about that. You'll definitely know because they're going to need in the house. They're going to need to take some pictures of the house to make sure that it's as nice as it's presented online with the lifestyle video, the 360 video, and the professional real estate photos. So that's that's what it's like being at step number six under contract. And then step number seven, after the buyer has completed their um, after the buyer has completed their home inspections, their appraisal, their termite inspections, well and septic inspections, any inspections they want, they could they could have Uncle Lou come in and inspect the thickness of the carpet if they wanted to they could literally inspect anything um, they can't damage your property of course because it's not theirs yet but they get to inspect anything because they're getting ready to make a big purchase and we're by we're buyer beware state so the inspections are the only way that they're able to really know more about the property after they complete the appraisal after title completes the title work then we iron out any details so if there was something that the buyer wasn't expecting to show up in the home inspection then sometimes they ask to get that repaired. Like if you have a uh, messed up electrical box and we need some electrical wires fixed in the breaker box, they'll ask for that. <coughs> Typically anything that has to do with safety or a licensed contractor is typically what buyers ask for. Now sometimes they ask for crazy stuff like, like adjust the bedroom door latch to uh, close better or something like that. And if it's something that you don't want to do as a seller, we just one line it and say, no, thank you. We're not going to do that. Uh, take the home as it is, or we'll just go work with another buyer. I mean, if they get some crazy stuff come up. And you, you we, there's been crazy stuff come up in, uh, in, in home inspections that buyers have put on the TRR that are not material defects. And we just say, that's that's we, we agreed to get, negotiate material defects. The Oklahoma Real Estate Commission says that we're supposed to negotiate material defects. That's cosmetic. That's not a material defect. So. Weird things do come. If there's a cloud on the title, like let's say uh, for some reason a credit company has mixed up you with another person that has the exact same name as you, if you have a common name, 
then we just need to sign off on an affidavit saying that's not me that's not that that's not owed to me the title company sends that creditor a sheet to check who's that who's person who's so check that person's social security number they make sure it's not your social security number and then they move on so we were able to clear those things if the appraisal has a condition let's say like there's a piece of uh, garage trim that down at the bottom you know over time the paint has worn off the appraiser may say be sure to paint the bottom of that trim and we just got to go out there and paint it real quick so we finalize all the details after the inspections after the appraisal after the title work is in we finalize all that stuff we clear any clouds we take care of any material defects that are negotiated out we take care of any appraisal conditions that are negotiated out and then that gets you through step seven on selling your home in Guthrie Oklahoma and that brings us to step eight when selling your home or land in Guthrie Oklahoma and that's closing that's closing so after all that's done and said Oklahoma is a um, closing funding and possession state in closing comma funding and possession state so funding and possession happen at the exact same time in Oklahoma so what that means is when we go to the closing table you've you've cleared out the house the house is completely vacant you, you've removed all your furniture you've done the final clean you've done the high dust you've done the vacuuming there's no dust bunnies anywhere you've made the home presentable to the new buyer because that buyer they still have to do the final walkthrough so after you've done all the repairs or or done any uh, appraisal conditions the, the buyer gets to come and do a repair walkthrough and appraisal condition walkthrough they get to come do that and then the final walkthrough is usually done an hour before closing and that's the last seal the deal moment for that buyer and the reason I say you want to have the house or land super presentable during that walkthrough is that that's still kind of I'm not an attorney so verify with an attorney that's still kind of an out for a buyer I mean they're if the buyer comes up with something weird that's just cold feet that's not an out but if they're like like let's say where we live in Oklahoma let's say a hailstorm came through or a tornado came through or something it messes up the house well if the buyer doesn't have the time to wait for those repairs to happen they may be able to cancel the contract they may be able to cancel the contract so whatever what you don't want to do as a seller is if you had blinds or if you had um, what's the other word curtains if you had curtains curtain rods or blinds on the house you do not want to remove those those are part of the contract if you had a chandelier or some sort of special light fixture and you didn't take it down before we listed the home to sell that that fixture is attached to the property it stays with the property if you had any on your land if you had gates if you had built-in um, a built-in round pin that wasn't reserved if you didn't reserve your round pin or if you have cattle panels up and you think you're taking it with them those are all attachments those are reservations that we have to make and negotiate during the negotiating contract because if the buyer shows up something's missing well they may have an out and then that would mess up your move that would put them in a bad position to buy the house because that those are parts of the contract that are agreed to stay as per the real estate commission in clause four so you got to make sure the house is presentable and everything is there that is agreed to be there in clause four and we always go over what things we want to keep and not keep when doing our listing consultation checklist let me pull that up real quick so the listing consultation checklist it goes over um, everything during the site visit we go over the goals needs and desires the comparable homes sold the pricing that the seller um, reserves so reserves so we go over what items we want to reserve during our listing consul consultation ch uh, checklist that we go through together back in step two and goes super in detail on all eight of these steps so when it comes to selling your home we want you to be the most informed so there's no hiccups along the way so once we do the final clean once we do the final preparation of the home or land that you're selling in Guthrie Oklahoma uh, the buyer completes their final walkthrough they're happy with the house we all go to closing buyer signs off on everything and they buy the rights to the house and they give you a great big fat check to uh, to, to, to purchase your home so those those are the eight steps when it comes to selling your home and if we'd went and bought a home at the same time then we always try to close those at the same title company so once that closing is done you just turn around walk into the next closing and you purchase your new home or land so those are the eight easy steps to selling your home 
or land in Guthrie, Oklahoma. I really hope you found value in this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big like and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my other videos about selling your home or land in Guthrie, Oklahoma and throughout Oklahoma in general. My name is Josh Barnett, the agents at HP Realty and I. We're here to earn your business when it comes to selling your home or land in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Fill out that online What's My Home Worth webpage at joshbarnett.exprealty.com backslash sell. All right, now some videos are popping up at the end of the screen here. And those videos are going to show you all sorts of cool more things about real estate and what you could do. So if you're not ready to make that move, but you want to learn more about selling your home or land in Oklahoma, be sure to watch one of these videos that are popping up right here.